Names are a funny thing. Sometimes you come across a few people and you have to ask them, did your parents know what they were doing when they put that on the birth certificate? Like this guy, Dr. Harry Beaver, an actual gynecologist in Fairfax, Virginia. I mean, talk about destiny. In the NHL, we've had our share of wonderfully interesting and impossible to pronounce names, including my personal favorites, Nikolai Hobby Lobby and Juicy Jokin In. But these next guys take it to a whole new level. Well, actually, I'm about to take it to a new level of down. Prepare to lower your brows. We're going for some cheap laughs here. Number five, Hocken Lube. Hocken Per Lube is a Swedish born right winger who played for the Calgary Flames and is regarded as one of the greatest Swedish hockey players of all time and is probably a really nice guy. He's of Estonian descent. He played six years in the NHL and scored 193 goals and had 236 assists. And unfortunately, his name sounds like what Pierre Maguire does with his throat after every time he does a Penguins broadcast. Hocken Lube. Apparently, Lube means hits in Estonian. So he was named Hocken Hits, but Lube is so much funnier. And you know this guy puts the lotion in the basket. Number four. Dit Clapper. Aubrey Victor Dit Clapper was a fantastic player for the Boston Bruins from 1928 to 1947 and a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame. He played in 21 seasons, won three cups, and was also mentioned in the movie Slapshot as a prime example of an old-time hockey player. Apparently he got the nickname Dit when he couldn't say his name properly and had a lisp. I don't know what name he was saying, but neither Aubrey nor Victor have an S in them, but I'm assuming he was butchering the name Vic. So Dit stuck to him. Dit Clapper. We all knew one of those in high school, right? I love the name Clapper. Obviously, it's either a loud slap shot or an awful 80s invention that allowed you to turn off the lights by literally clapping. Ah, the 80s. Can we just forget that decade ever happened? The Clapper lets your appliances turn on and off just by clapping. Clap on, clap off. Number three, Grant Clitsum. Grant Clitsum is a retired former Winnipeg Jet and Columbus Blue Jacket who played seven seasons in the NHL and also has a female body part in his name. And like that body part, not much information on Clitsum was easy to find, though he did score 15 goals and notch 56 assists playing on the blue line in his career. Ah, the name Clitsum. It just rolls off your tongue so easily, doesn't it? I wish someone would grant me some more Clitsum. Okay, I'll stop there. There are probably children listening. And if you laugh just now, you're either a teenage boy or acting like one. High five, bro. Number two, Rocket Power. Are you surprised I went with a non-perverted name on this one? James Rocket Power was a former professional hockey player for the Quebec Bulldogs way back from 1900 to 1913. Ironically, he wasn't given his nickname because he was fast or anything like that. It was because his mom's maiden name was Rocket with two T's. Stop, people. I'm trying to be serious here. I like this name as it obviously conveys large erect flying structures. With a name like Rocket Power, though, in the 1900s, you had to be smooth with the ladies. Hello, dear. My name is Rocket Power. Would you fancy a dance with me this fine evening? I prefer the foxtrot, but we can two-step if you like. I have no idea why I think Rocket Powered has a bad British accent, but I'm just going to go with it. Ironically, the first liquid field rocket wasn't invented until 1926, so those hotties in the 1900s probably thought he was just a giant douche. And yes, that's how I used to talk to women when I was single, in a fake British accent. Before I get to number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, Harry Dick. Okay, damn it, let me start. Harry Dick? Really, this dude is named Harry Dick? I mean, come on, seriously? Dick played for the Blackhawks for 12 games in 1947. And his name is Harry Dick. And that's all I could find on him. And hell no, I was not Googling his name with the filters off. Now that you've gotten over his name, I want to give you a few great one-liners a good old announcer could have used had he broadcast one of Harold Gaines back in the 40s. Quackenbush skates into the boards and oh, Dick just unloads on him. Wow, that was amazing. That hit might have been uncalled for, but you know, that's a typical dick move right there. 
Max Bentley takes it up the wing and passes it to Dick, who was just hanging out in the slot. Dick takes a shot. He puts it in. Dick really inserted himself into that play. What a shot. How clutch was that? He was really money with that shot. Okay, I'll stop before my channel gets reported. You all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. But you get it, and if you laughed, you're all a bunch of dicks too. Agree with my list? Think of any more great names? Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Five Points Vids, for tweets and channel updates, and leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you're not already. I'm Five Points Gaming, and you made it to the end of this video. Bye.